What is up, everybody? It's time for some Sadisi Wicked Witch of the West. Or the East, or the North, doesn't really matter. All that matters is that Sadisi is a Wicked Witch, okay? So let's see who we're up against. We are playing against uh, Cedri Galvanic Genius. We've got some uh, Esper action going on. Let's check our opening. So we've got Halimar Depths and the Hedron Crab, which is nice, but we don't have another Mana Source. But I do love this Mesmeric Orb and Hedron Crab we got going on. Um, I'm tempted to keep. I, I We're playing Sadisi. We can Halimar Depths, hopefully hit a land. And uh, I really like Hedron Crab and Mesmeric Orb, because with Mesmeric Orb, we get uh, each trigger will be for city. Each trigger will be separate. So that way we can get a bunch of zombie tokens. So hopefully uh, we can get a couple lands with this Halimar Depths. Oh, draw the Command Tower. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's go ahead and Halimar Depths. That way we can Hedron Crab next turn with the Command Tower. All right, so let's go... Yeah, beautiful. So we'll have Winsup Teeth with Life from the Loam. We can start dredging that back. Awesome, awesome. Good keep. So let's go Dire Graph, Flush Bag, and then Windswept Teeth on top. And the next turn we get down Hedron Crab, start milling ourselves. I uh, get some more Life from the Loam targets. So her, uh, our opponent's commander, target non-artifact, non-creature artifact, becomes an artifact creature equal to its converted mana cost, and then target artifact gains Death Touch and Life Link. Okay. And we're playing CDC, so whenever a creature is put into the graveyard from our library, we get a 2-2 zombie token. And right now, we can... Now, we can get down Windswept Teeth, crack it, and then get Life from the Loam action going, because I may want to save our landfall triggers with Hedron Crab. He may, well, I don't want to start... Well, we could start milling right now. But I kind of like cracking the Windswept Teeth. We lose the two zombies on top, but that's okay. So let's crack this one, Swept Teeth. That way we can uh, get some Life from the Loam action going. Life from the Loam is just such a fun card. And let's grab... Let's grab Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, let's grab Overgrown Tomb. So we're going to shock that in. Life from the Loam on one, Swept Teeth. Alright, and then we'll be able to dredge that. We're actually on we're online for uh, 4 mana with CDC right now. So I think that's going to be the game plan right now. Is uh, next turn we can probably get down Mesric Orb and uh, start getting those mill triggers. I think, well, yeah, we'll go and mill life from the loam. Okay. Oh man, we uh, hit parallel lives. That that is, parallel lives is just crazy in this deck right here. So right now, let's go ahead and get down. Let's get down Hedron Crab. Let's get our mill action going this turn. Mr. Krabby Patties, man. He, uh, he put some work in. I'm going to save this one swept Teeth um, to get some more triggers from City C. So we're going to target ourselves. And we could get down Mesmeric Orb. Or we could Life from the Loam and kind of secure our mana base. Let's, let's go on Life from the Loam right now. I like Life from the Loam in the graveyard. All right. So we can get down Sadisi next turn. And then we'll have Windswept with Hedron Crab, crack that, grab another Hedron Crab trigger, then get down Mesmeric Orb. Yeah, I like that. We're, we're going we're gonna to be having some fun with that. All right, so opponent gets his commander down. Yeah, but right now we're looking to... Uh, probably going to get down Swamp, get down Sadisi. And we'll go and dredge, because we've got some fun stuff and we want to get into the graveyard. So let's get down the swamp, target ourselves. We have, like, Dread Return, and uh, we have Wander, too, to give our uh, our zombies flying. She is the Wicked Witch. So let's go and cast her, get her down. So we've got blue, black, green. Our opponent has two mana, maybe he has a counter spell, but uh, it won't be the end of the world if he does. All right, so we'll get some mill action from the DC when she comes in. And good, we hit Shepherd of Rot. Now, we can... Let's see, anything else we do? No, we're good. So with Shepard, I love Shepard of Rot. Um, let me get to our opponent's turn. I'm F6 real quick. So with Shepard of Rot, each player loses one life for each zombie on the battlefield. So as long as we can get a head on life and get his life total down through combat damage, uh, Shepard of Rot is a very, very fun zombie to play with. Um, if you don't have it in your zombie decks, I would definitely put it in there. Awesome zombie. And we have ways to get it back onto the battlefield. We just drew into it. Lord of <laughs> I was trying to think of the card name, but uh, it really works if you just draw the card. Yeah, if we draw into Lord of Undead like we just did, return target zombie. So we can return Shepherd of Rot. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Okay, so let's see if we can't get some CDC triggers. Let's go Windswept Heath. Hedron Crab targeting us. All right. Hit a zombie off that. So let's go ahead and... 
go and crack this one swept teeth, and we'll grab the grab the bayou right now. Three more coming into the graveyard, targeting us. I love targeting. It's always good to target yourself with uh, Hedron Crab Triggers. That's, you're having some party time right there. Um, since he's tapped out, let's go Lightning Greaves. Put it up. Uh, not on Hedron Crab. <laughs> well, we can, but let's move back over to CDC. There we go. And let's get down. We can't get down Diagraph, but I like Mesmeric Orb because Mes Mesmeric Orb will uh, trigger for each thing that untaps. And I'm going to hold off on attacking right now. Kind of with Sidisi, you kind of want to just get some, like, uh, some really good... Get a bunch of zombies out, so you can almost get like an alpha swing. And we do have two zombie lords right now, which we can deploy next turn off breeding pool. So let's go ahead and yield to this mesmeric orb trigger. There we go. And what we can do is we can tap command tower. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five. We'll have five triggers for CDC. So for each, it's separate. It separate triggers. So if we hit multiple creatures off that mesmeric orb trigger, then we'll start getting uh, a bunch of zombies. And if we can get wonder into the graveyard, they'll all have flying, which I think that's going to be the key issue to this one. Plus, you know, Wicked Witch, CDC. She wants some flying zombies. When I made the Wicked Witch, because I, I, I've played CDC before, but then I was like, a couple people told me a couple cards to add, and I was like, I somehow missed Wonder, so like to give flying a bunch of flying zombies, so cool. So uh, I, I thought about Wizard of Oz with all the flying monkeys, and so uh, I don't know, I just really like CDC having this army of flying zombies. It sounds pretty, sounds really Commander right there. That's That's what Commander's about. And then his Sphinx, whenever it deals damage, you may put a Blue Thopter. Okay. We are at 32, though, but hopefully we'll get a, nice, a bunch of Mesmeric Orbs. So we're going to tap right now. Just tap for blue. Let that empty out. So we'll get an extra Mesmeric Orb trigger. All right. Hit some Zombies action. Let's yield to that, too. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And we don't have a Dredge in there. So let's shock in Breeding Pool, because, because we can get down the two Lords right now and really amplify our zombies. But we can also Jared's Order for a Wonder right now. I may do that. Let's get... Yeah, because if we do that, it's going to be four. We'll have... And we can still cast Life from the Loam. Yeah, we'll shock this in. Get three from Hedron Crab. Definitely helps if you have a dredge card in the graveyard for this deck right here. So we're going to go in Jared's order right now. So let's go black, green. And so we're going to grab Wander, put Wander into the graveyard. No, the first first one we click is going to go into our hand. So let's grab Gym Palm so we can cycle it for double black. And uh, it'll lose life equal to the number of zombies on our battlefield. So we're going to put Gym Palm in our hand. And then we're going to put Wonder in the graveyard, and we'll get a zombie from Wonder hitting. There we go. We got some flying zombies right there. Uh, right now, I think we're going to hold off. Let's go on Life from the Loam, get some lanes into our hand. Uh, let's grab Urborg so we can turn our lanes into swamps. And we can get some Unholy Grotto going so we can get some zombies on top. But let, I think right now, yeah, we'll go and grab that. And then we'll grab. Um, since everything's going to be turned in, let's grab a grab an underground C. There we go. Play blue, play green. Okay. Now, we can't swing in for two right now. Because if we're going for Jim Palm, I mean, yeah, I may go and swing in for two. Let's have some fun. Go, my pretties, go. Fly, fly across at our opponents. And then we'll do some, uh, We'll do some math next turn, because we might be able to close it out, possibly. With a bunch of Mesmeric Orb Triggers and Cycling Gym Palm. Yeah, let's let's see what we got going on. Let's let our opponent do his thing. Alright, so he loses the Thopter. I'm okay with that trade. And yeah, nothing else to do. So let's yield. Always oh, yield. There we go. And... Nothing, yeah, nothing of note right there. He did mill some good stuff that I don't really want to face on the battlefield. All right, so next turn we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to have seven mana getting down. We can get down two lords. We don't get down one lord if we want to cycle. So if we play Urborg, all of our lands. 
So we can definitely swing in with a bunch of 3-3 flyers. So we're looking, let's say, um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So we got 15 in the air. He's at 39 minus 15. We're looking at 24 damage. And then with Jim Palm, yeah, let's, depending on, you know, we're going to have to, sweet spots are going to be, you know, 24 zombies. We don't have that many zombies right now. Um, so, but if we go double Lord, they'll make them all four fours. We've got one, two, three, four, five. That'll be 20. We're we'll looking at 19 damage right there. So we may go double Lord next turn and then have Jim Palm the turn after that. Yeah, and we'll see how many we flip off this trigger right here. Let's yield to that. Oh, beautiful. Now, do we have anything in the graveyard? Let's go ahead and... Golgari Thug is four. Yeah, let's go four. Oh, we finally hit Dread Return. Okay, so we've got Dread Return. Let's see what creatures we've got. we got Grave Spawn. We can get down some, we can sack three, get Grave Spawn out. We can tap five. Um, we got Shepherd of Rot. We could get Shepherd of Rot out to start getting his life total down. Let's get down, let's get down Urborg. Got three coming across, because we might meal into Crater Hoof. Nope, not yet. Um, I like going for Double Lord right now, because that'll be, he has a 4-4 four, four flying, so we'll be able to kill that, help to block that. So let's go Double Lord. And then next turn, we'll hopefully kind of hit into some uh, Crater Hoof action. Get on Diagraph. All right, so we've got a bunch of full four flying zombies. Sounds pretty solid to me. Let's, uh, let's swing in for 20 right now. Coming in hot for 20. Oh, didn't see that coming out. What was that? I missed that. Whenever a creature attacks, Caltrops deals one damage. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. We can make that work. I, I was so busy trying to figure out what we got going on in the graveyard that uh, I didn't even see him cast that. Oh, all right. <laughs> Very nice. You got it, man. Yeah, I uh, I didn't realize he played that. Very. Hey, misplay right there, guys. I'm going to own up to it. Didn't see that. Because it has Death Touch, and then, yeah, it's going to pop the all of our creatures, our flying zombies. <laughs> I like that, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's activate that. Okay. <laughs> okay, yep, I missed that. At least we'll get the Diagraph uh, triggers. Yeah, sorry, guys. That's, uh... I, I was so busy trying to, like, see what we had going on, I didn't realize he cast, uh, cast that card. But, you know, misplays happen sometimes. So, hopefully, so now we're going to go for... Because if we swing in, he can just reanimate that. Well, if he taps out, then we can get a pretty nice going. So we're going to have to... Def we may have to... He's ahead on life total. So we can dread return, but we're going to have to wait until he taps out to where he can't get his commander going with that. As far as zombie count, we've got one, two, we've got six zombies. So if we can just get an entire board of flying zombies and just kind of grind it out. We're a little low. we got 40 cards in the library. But we get per oh, oh, we got Spine coming in. Spine coming in hot. Who are you destroying? Take out some Mesmer Corp. All right, yeah. That's, uh, seems legit right there. I'd probably do the same thing. Now, he has one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, and he, it just takes three to activate, so we can't swing in next turn. Let's go, we'll go ahead and dredge. Okay. Let's go underground sea. Mill us for three. Get a zombie. Okay. Now we have option for dread return. But I, I want to get a lot of zombies out. Let's 
let's let's track her's instincts. See what we get into. <laughs> I feel like I like stepped into like a little trap card, man. I'm just I'm bummed. I I fell right into that. <laughs> okay, so. Now, what do we want? So if we get down Fleshbag, he'll sack probably his Architect. But if we Corpse Connoisseur, then we can get some more zombies with that. Yeah, let's put let's get Corpse in our hand. We'll still get uh, get the trigger from Sadisi. We'll have enough to get down Corpse Connoisseur. We're going to use his ability. Let's grab... <laughs> now we can grab some... We can get some Balthor action going. Bring back all black creatures. That'll be Fleshbag, Nyxweaver, Lotleth. I think... Yeah, let's go... Balthor. I like Balthor. Because we can reanimate our graveyard, get a bunch of zombies, activate uh, activate Shepherd of Rot, and then we can cycle for that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Balthor. Okay, so we got Balthor in the graveyard. I'm gonna pop this out so we can kind of get a little bit better picture of what's going on. This is a pretty big graveyard, so I apologize. You may not be able to see what's going on, but actually, I'm gonna pop it back down. That's a little too hard. I'm just gonna close out of our opponent's graveyard. If I can get the little drop down. There we go. I'm going to close this graveyard out. Um, and I'll keep it down at the bottom so we can see what's going on with that. Um, so we do have Dread Return on Balthor. Do we want to do that right now? I'd like to activate it when we have enough many mana to activate it in response to something. So we're going to hold off right now. <laughs> yeah. I like some Balthor action, so we're going to pass it to our opponent's turn, our opponent's side, and then we're going to see what's going on. Because I think we should be able to close it out with a Balthor. Let's let him do that thing. We'll start seeing what we got going in the graveyard. So we're going to bring him back, all black creatures. This is going to be Shepherd of Rot. Grave Spawn. Stinkweed. Lotleth. Then we're going to have Nyx Weaver coming in and Fleshback. So it's going to be seven creatures. I think three or four of those are zombies. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say we're going to have about 12 to 13 zombies. So we can get down Lord. Yeah, I like that. So we're going to Balthor, bring back Shepherd of Rot, start getting his life total down, and then uh, hopefully cycle for the win. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I was d okay. Okay, all right, I got it. So he makes it a artifact with liquid metal, and then he turns it into a creature since there's no converted mana cost. Okay, I like that. All right, so he's gonna have Voltaic key up. To activate the liquid metal cooling. All right, I'm liking this. We 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 got some stuff going on on both sides. So let's go ahead and I want to get more creatures in the graveyard. So we're gonna dredge the salvage. Ooh, hit grave titan. Yeah, that's that's some good stuff right there. Get another zombie token. Let's get down unholy grotto. Mill us for three more. Get down Crater Hoof. Oh, get prized. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get... Let's activate Dread Return. And we're going to choose Balthor. Let's get Balthor out. And let's go... Actually, we're going to go ahead and sack uh, Hedron Crab. Corpse Connoisseur. Actually, not Hedron Crab, because if we sack the Lord and the Diagraph... Yeah, they're going to hit the graveyard. Balthor will come back. He's going to lose two life. Oh, we're at 12 minutes. Our opponent's at 19. 
Okay, so we're bringing back Balthor. And he has no cards in hand, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so Balthor comes back. And I'm going to wait, because we can activate at instant speed. And does he have any black creatures? No. Okay. So I'm going to wait, see if he does something. Because he can liquid metal. Or Shepherd of Rot. Yes, that is a play right there. So, if we're trying to go for Shepherd of Rod, I'm going to do it at the end of the turn. Maybe he'll tap his Voltaic Key, his uh, Liquid Metal. So, we're going to, since Balthor is instant speed, we're going to do it in response to something. What just became, what did he just target? Unholy Grotto, okay. And yeah, we're okay right now. I don't think there's really any zombies we're gonna put on top. Surprise is coming back. Now we do have to watch out. We don't have Urborg out there, so one, two, three. We only have we well we have four black sources, so we have to watch out for that. So if he he gets our last black source of liquid metal, we're gonna have to watch out for that. Oh, we got some mere battle sphere going on. Yeah, I think now if we get everybody back, I, I think we might be able to we might be able to get it. We're gonna see. Yeah, the uh, the choke point is his taking away our four black swords. So we have one, two, three, four. Once it gets past uh, under three or under, we're going to have to activate Balthor. Okay, so let's see how many zombies we've got in the graveyard. We're going to have one, two. He's elf. One, two, okay. Add black, just to be safe. So we lose the uh, Urborg. I mean, not the Urborg, the uh, Overgrown Tomb. And he can't untap with Tezzeret. Yep, so he can untap up to two permanents. Untaps that. Liquid Metal. Hit our command tower. I want to add black with that. Now we're at the point now to where we kind of have to. We're gonna have to. We're not gonna have enough black mana to activate Balthor. So if he tries to go to his next phase, we're gonna have to bring everybody back. Now, let's, if he's trying to go for the land destruction route, I feel really good about activating Balthor and getting Shepherd of Rot, because he may not be seeing the Shepherd of Rot in there. Hits Underground Sea, we'll tap that for black. Okay. Now, we have three mana floating, so we're going to have to really be careful with this. And we can still lie from the loam next turn to get enough black mana to cycle. Maybe it's going to be a little tight, but uh, yeah, he hits that land. Okay. Yeah, because we can lie from the loam. Yeah, we can lie from the loam, grab Urborg to have enough to cycle. And do not want to click through that. Alright, so everybody's coming in hot. And then, yeah, we'll go and use Corp Connoisseur. Let's grab... We'll grab Vengeful Pharaoh, that way if he swings in, it'll kill it. I'm gonna get a zombie. 
And then we'll probably go ahead and sack just like, uh, well, we have Death Rite coming out to add some mana. Alright, so we're going to sack a creature. Let's sack... We're going to sack Hedron Crab. We're, we've probably done enough milling that we need to do. And that's going to go back to his hand. And he's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He's not gonna, yeah, I don't think I'll have enough mana to recast it. Okay, so we've got a couple things to do. We're going to need to re-rack, because we have an active grave spawn where we can put target creature on the battlefield from our graveyard. So we can get a few more zombies. So if we're going to have enough... So let's count how many zombies we got. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we can shepherd 37 minus 18. We're looking at 19. All right, so we, are, let's, we need to put a couple more zombies onto the battlefield. So let's grab... Oh, we can grab his people too. But uh, we, need, we need a couple more zombies. So let's grab Forgotten Creation. 2, 3, 4, 5... It's hard to see. There we go. And then we're going to put one more zombie. And we'll grab one more zombie. Let's grab... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's grab Armored. One, two, three, four, and five. Get a couple more zombies. And then we'll still, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab one more. We'll da grab um, Undead. One, two, three. Let's go four and five. Okay. All right, so now put that on the top. Nix Weaver. No, we do not want to discard. Not at all. I uh, don't want to dredge. <laughs> Get into the Rise of the Dark Realms. We don't have enough mana, though. So we're going to... Let's grab Urborg. If we can find it. Where is Urborg? Where are you? There you are. So we're going to get that. Choose up to three. We'll just go ahead and grab another Water Grave. Okay. So we're going to play Blue, Green... Let's play Urborg. Let's activate Shepherd of Rot. He goes to 13, and then we'll go ahead and activate Exile one of his islands, add black, and then there we go. Tap this for black, and we'll go ahead and cycle. Choose him. <laughs> there we go. He's gonna lose. Uh, he's gonna lose life equal to the numbers. There we go. We should close it out right there. I don't he, unless he has some type of uh, counter target trigger ability. Look at this. A lot of zombies we got going on right there. <laughs> yeah, man. That was uh, got around the Caltrops right there, man. Yes, we're gonna use that ability. All right, there. We close it out right there, just in time too. We're at seven minutes. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.